In this quick video demo, we'll show you how to set up and use the CSO reporting feature within your software. From the menu bar, select Company slash Payroll, then Company Details. Click the CSO tab. Ensure that the Use CSO Reporting Feature checkbox is selected. If it's not, select it now. Then enter your company's Central Business Registry, or CBR number, in the box provided. If you're unsure of what your company's CBR number is, you must contact the CSO directly. To save these settings, click OK. On the menu bar, select Company slash Payroll, then Payments. Select a payment from the list and then click Edit. Specify the relevant options in these fields. To save the changes you've made to the payment, click Save. You won't need to specify CSO settings for the following payments. To include employees on the CSO report, you must first enter some information into their employee record. On the menu bar, select Processing, then Employee Details. Select the relevant employee, then click into the CSO tab. If you want to include this employee on the CSO report, specify the relevant employment information in the boxes provided. Alternatively, if you want to exclude this employee from CSO reporting, select this checkbox here. If you're setting up the CSO feature mid-year, you'll see that there's already information within the table below. You'll need to delete this and repopulate it. To do this, click into any of the columns, then press F5 on your keyboard until all entries are removed. Once you've done this, click Fill Blank History to repopulate it. To save the changes that you've made to the employee's record, click Save. Repeat this process for each employee on your payroll. You've now set up your payroll for CSO reporting, and when you need to generate your CSO reports, you can do so. Go to Reports, then Payroll Reports. Click the Company tab. If you want to print a CSO report, select the relevant report, then click Print. Alternatively, if you want to create a submission file that you can send over the internet, under File Exports, Select the relevant option, then follow the on-screen instructions. For more information, please visit sage.ie forward slash ask and search for Article 32261.